Okay, brief intro. I'll talk about the build, the guns used, all that at the end of the run. See you then. All right, so for the build itself, uh, out the gate, I will have a dim link for the build below in the description. That being said, this is a Bonk Titan slash Ignition build. The Ignition portion is mostly for Unstoppable Champions and content that has them, like other lost sectors with Unstops. This one doesn't have them in particular, but I thought I'd mention that in case people are wondering why I'm running the things that I am. With that being said, we have the usual Roaring Flames, Soul Invictus here. Then in the abilities, we have Firebolt Grenades, again, the ignition portion, because with this build, you throw a Firebolt and then hit with a regular melee on an unstop, and it will ignite them, stunning them, and then giving you some decent damage to kill them. Then for Fragments, we have Embers of Solace, Torches, Ashes, and Searing. Mod-wise, we're going to go Rapid Fire. Nothing is mandatory, but I will recommend some things for you guys. First up, Hands-On on your Helmet gain super energy on melee kills the entire run is you getting melee kills so hands-on is really helpful to get your super for the end on the boss heavy ammo finder in case you're using a lot of tractor cannon shots and you need more well tractor shots gloves all about firepower to get orbs when you throw your nades and heavy-handed to get orbs when you do melees which is literally every other second also focusing strike for barricades if you like some more added protection to spam more barricades you know just to be safe for your chest, I recommend Void Resist and Concussive Dampener because the enemies that can hurt you in the Sloth Sector shoot Void and Splash damage, so pretty self-explanatory there. Boots, you should have better already and Recuperation just for added healing bonuses for when you get your hammer kills, you get an orb, and when you get an orb, you'll heal. And then for your class item, you could have Reaper, so pop a barricade, get a weapon kill, get an orb in case you need it, and then Time Dilation to extend any additional bonus damage with your armor charges if you need it and that's it nothing too crazy with the mods now the exotica choice for armor is of course syntheseps giving you x3 roaring flames and then boosting your melee damage for your hammers and then for weapons the only thing i would say that is mandatory is tractor cannon just because it'll increase your damage output for the hammers even further than normal 
quick edit, I forgot to mention this, but a lot of people seem to not know, so I thought I'd put this in. Tractor Cannon suppresses now, which means one Tractor Cannon shot automatically stuns Overlord Champions, which you will see throughout the video. Thought I'd mention that as well, moving on. So besides that, in the Energy and the Kinetic slot, the only thing I would say is have one of these weapons be a ranged weapon, just to have that kill the two cubes in the final boss room that's going to be protecting the Cyclops. That's really the only reason to run a ranged weapon in this, in my opinion. The other slot, now while I have Succession here, you could actually slot something like a Heritage in here if you'd like. For the situation of where you will bonk, let's say, a Barrio Champion, and you won't get the kill immediately, and they'll shield up early sometimes, for whatever reason they do that. And in that instance, you will have your Radiant proc because you hit them with the hammer, and then you can just one-shot their barrier shield off with, like I said, a succession. Or if you have a heritage on, that's also one-shot, but then you'd have to be close to them to do that. So that's really the only main difference. It's just player preference at that point. But essentially, 99% of the time, you're using tractor and your hammer and maybe some grenades. And then for two little cubes in the final boss room, you're using a ranged weapon. Outside of that, you should just be smacking everything with a hammer. And then for the final boss, you combine the cranium plus your super to nuke the boss down and then hopefully that gives you enough to kill him and get you the solo flawless or maybe a three minute farm run for exotics if you like to do that last thing to note the other two classes warlocks i already have a video out for you guys in about three minutes to get a flawless master clear on this exact law sector and hunters i will have a video out for you guys later today slash in the morning also uh sub three minutes master flawless same law sector as well and aside from that stay tuned for those if you're one of those classes i hope you enjoyed and if you did like, share, subscribe, it does help the channel, much appreciated. If you guys want to see the other Neo Moon Law Sectors done on each character for speed slash flawless runs, let me know, and uh, I'll consider putting those up next as well. All right, catch you next time. Bye.